New Covenant theology is basically a Christ-centered worldview and a Christ-centered Bible view, if I may coin a new term. In Colossians chapter 1, the Apostle Paul says that all things were created by Christ and for Christ. It's all about Christ, everything. The stars in the sky and the sun and the moon, everything in the heavens, down to the little tiny ant crawling around on the ground. It's all about Jesus Christ. Paul goes on to say that all things were created so that Christ would come to have first place in all things. So that means our marriages, government, our work, and our business relationships, everything we have and do is intended to be for the purpose of glorifying Christ. The universe is Christ's inheritance given by the Father to his Son. And so New Covenant theology seeks to exhort Christians to exalt Christ in everything that we do. Our hermeneutic, or our interpretation of the scripture, is also Christ-exalting. We look at Luke chapter 24 and many, many other New Testament passages, indeed the entire New Testament, as telling us and revealing to us that everything in the Old Testament also focuses on Christ. Everything from Genesis through Malachi prepares for, anticipates, uh, prefigures the coming of God's Son into the world and the establishment of the new covenant. So our hermeneutic is also all about Jesus Christ. There are others who would say the same thing, who would argue that the scripture is all about Jesus Christ. They adopt what we would call biblical theology, and we agree with them. We are uh, strong adherents of biblical theology, but we take it all the way in a way that some do not. New Covenant theology is probably best described in contrast to the other two schools of thought, covenant theology and dispensational theology. And we respect our brothers and sisters in those two camps, and we have great admiration for them. But when it comes to the central theme of the Bible, uh, we would argue that their view is just a little off-center. 